Hi folks, I'm starting this Replica Studios to iClone tutorial with a character already loaded and the new Replica Link plugin already installed. And starting the link allows you to make any avatar in your current project receive voices directly from Replica. Now, Replica uses real actors along with AI to produce amazingly realistic voices from simple text input. And you can check these out easily from the sandbox select speaker function. Let's try out some of the voices. Hi, I'm Amber. I have an American accent, and I'm... Yes. Well, one might think... There aren't too many women in this town who can make me blush. Hello, my name is Ethan. My replica voice was created for voiceovers. Hello, stranger. Needing a new set of armor, are you? I mainly specialize in plated off. My name is Jack, and I'm perfect for when you need a deep southern voice. Some years ago... My doggy is so smart. He can sit. Listen. You don't want Vinny to pay you a visit. So... You dare to threaten me, Solomon of a God. All right, listen up. I'm in charge, and you had better pay close attention. And testing the different voices lets you choose a good match for the current character you're working with. I'll choose this voice to start with. And with one of the voices selected, I can simply type or paste in what I want the character to say. Now, it's important to check out what the speech sounds like before saving the take, because you can always change it at this stage. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. You can, of course, change the way words are pronounced by typing them differently, perhaps phonetically. But Replica also provides tools to insert silence as well as change volume, speed and pitch on particular words or phrases. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. You'll also find that many of the voices have different styles available. These styles can be applied to whole speeches or parts of speeches and can make a big difference to the emotional quality of a particular speech. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. And just as with testing the individual voices, it's worth testing different speech styles again to get the most appropriate match for your current character. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. So I've tested the available styles and now I'll choose the initial style to use with this character. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. The next step is simply to save the take, which makes it ready for export. And with the replica link running and the iClone character connected, this means being able to export the voice directly to the connected character. And when you export the voice, a select animation interface pops up which allows you to choose the style and strength of automatic facial animation which will be applied. You can choose Auto, which uses a preset associated with the particular replica voice style, or you can select from different emotions, or you can choose not to apply facial animation and only apply the voice with lip sync. Just to start off, I'm choosing the neutral style at medium strength. Let's apply that and see what happens. You'll notice a short lag to start with. This is because there's a lot going on now, since the replica speech is being processed into accurate lip sync by iClone's Aculips, and the facial animation is being set up from pre-built clips on iClone's timeline. And now that it's processed, let's play that through. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. Quickly zooming into the timeline, you can see what's happened. The text which was input into Replica Studios and output as the character's voice has been used to produce Aculips lip sync here in iCloud. And the facial animation style and strength I selected has been loaded into the expression track. Now let's see what happens when I go back to Replica and change the voice style. This time, when I export the speech, I'll choose the Auto setting on the Select Animation interface. This time, you'll see that the expression track changes to Anger at high strength, and the Visium track is adjusted for the new voice style. Again, playing that back, notice the difference compared to the previous animation. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. At this stage, if you're happy with the automated result, you can start refining the animation further. 
and one of the simplest and most effective ways to do this in terms of speech is by changing settings in the talking style editor where you can change the extent and overall quality of mouth shapes throughout the lip sync. And whilst you can fine tune the strength of Visium's individually simply by dragging the individual sliders, it can often be faster to start by choosing from the many available presets, which can take you through the whole range of speech extents in order to find the most appropriate Visium strength combination for your particular speech. Now, iClone's Aculips, along with the Talking Style Editor, are extremely effective tools to rapidly produce accurate lip sync and to fine tune just how effective the lip sync is. But when working with lip sync in iClone, it's important to be aware that you can also control smoothing as well as general strength in whole or in parts via the Lip Options track. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. And whilst I genuinely can't remember the last time I needed to edit Visims individually in iClone because Aculips works so well, you can of course zoom into the Visims on the Lips track itself and do exactly that if you need to, by changing the strength of individual Visims at particular points, as well as switching them and, if needed, repositioning them on the timeline. Next, let's look at how replica-generated speeches can be sequenced on the timeline. So, how do you handle multiple speeches, as well as linking speeches together? This section will get a bit repetitive, so I'll speed the video up a little. Returning to the Replica Studios application, first I'll overwrite the existing speech and animation on the timeline by choosing a different voice and exporting it. The speech is overwritten because of the position of the timeline cursor or playhead, so next I move the playhead to the point where I want the next speech to begin. Here I'll use a different replica voice on the same character, but I could also connect a different character to replica in iClone if, for example, I wanted to create a conversation between multiple characters. So the current position of the playhead or timeline cursor determines where the next speech will begin. Moving the playhead along, I'll do the same thing again with another voice and another speech. You can see how simple it is to build up longer speeches from parts using this approach. But the key point to remember is that the current position of the playhead determines where the next speech will be loaded onto the timeline. Now, you'll notice that in the case of the final speech, it's actually going right up to the end of the current timeline, and this means that the speech itself is probably finishing too soon. So here, I'll simply add some time to ensure that the speech completes correctly. Next, we'll look more closely at the expression track and how iClone's facial animation tools can be used along with the automatically generated facial animation. But first, let's make this a continuous speech so that we can see more clearly how the animation is working. And again, the existing speech and animation is overwritten because I've positioned the playhead back at zero. I'll just play that through. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. And with the Replica Link plugin, you can send these voices directly to your clone avatars for automatic lip syncing using Aculips. And not only speech, you can also choose to automatically load facial animation with different emotions and at different strengths, which can save lots of time in production. Now, the animation I applied was fear at maximum strength, so it's very expressive. But it is useful to clarify exactly how the expression clip-based approach works. With the speech deleted so you can see what the character is actually doing, you'll notice how the head, eyes and changing facial expression is contributing to the overall effect. And whilst this example is at maximum strength, the approach also provides clips which can be used to produce much more subtle and naturalistic motion. Let's make that speech again in a different voice and style, this time selecting the auto animation preset and it loads a more subtle, happy animation at medium strength. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. It's important to be aware that you can also access these preset animation clips from iClone's content folder, so you can change styles and strengths not just on existing replica speeches, but on any lip sync animation. Opening the content folder and navigating through to Animation, Script, Expression Loop, you'll find individual folders containing the clips for each style, as well as a folder called All, where you can access all of the clips at the same time. 
apart from short and zero clips which are designed for quick expletive speeches as well as trimming animation to fit exported replica content all low medium high and maximum clips are roughly 10 seconds long and can produce reasonably smooth loops when sequenced together and in different combinations in terms of loading the clips again the position of the playhead is key and dragging a clip onto the character will load the clip at that particular point on the timeline now I'm dragging clips onto the model directly but with a character selected and the playhead at the desired point you can also simply double click on the clips in the folder to load them and being able to load the clips directly from the content folder like this means you can easily mix and match different emotions as well as strengths during speech you can also fill in areas between speeches if you wish so you can use the clips to modify the replica output result you can also use them on any other lip sync and you can use them to produce background ambient facial animation but what if you want the result to be more specific more controlled and more directly timed in with the speech itself experienced animators will know just how time consuming keyframe editing from scratch can be but if you already have a starting point such as this clip based approach using keyframe editing to modify expressions on these clips is really straightforward so here I'm using the face key muscle panel to modify particular expressions at particular points simply by dragging the features into the positions I want and you'll notice that I'm adding default keyframes to bracket the new keyframes at particular points to ensure I'm only applying the changes exactly where I want them now you can use face key to modify any part of the existing animation but there are a couple of points to be aware of first if the character is speaking be careful not to keyframe the mouth or jaw in a way which will interfere negatively with the lip sync the second point is that keyframing on top of existing clips is additive so if for example you add a smile midway through an existing clip the character will smile all of the way through the clip unless you bracket the smile with default keyframes face key muscle panel provides the quickest way to fine tune individual expressions in detail but you can of course also use face key modify sliders or full face expressions from the library again it's just a matter of being aware that you're adding expressions on top of existing expressions and that bracketing with default keys will stop the added expression being applied across the whole clip now if you want to zero expressions completely perhaps to use face key expressions on an absolute basis without adding them to existing clips you can do this by first trimming down an existing clip by breaking and deleting the desired part you can see that even with part of the clip deleted the last keyframe of the previous clip persists so the second step is to return to the content library and load the zero expression clip from the expression loop folder as you can see this provides a clean slate so adding full face expressions from face key is now absolute so face key can be used to easily modify the existing clips but it's important to be aware of how keyframing works on top of existing keyframes and if you want to apply expressions absolutely you need to ensure that the avatar has no existing expression applied to it already moving on from face key you can of course also modify existing clips using face puppet this allows you to easily blend or replace animation on particular features or on the whole head and face using the mouse blend will add to the existing animation whereas replace will of course overwrite so here I've selected the X plus eyes I look puppet profile and I'm using the mouse to add animation throughout the whole sequence whilst the pre-built clips already contain eye animation this is specifically just small changes in focus so as to preserve the general gaze position whilst appearing natural during lip sync so using face puppet provides a simple way to add more deliberate changes in the character's gaze if you've seen my previous tutorials on face puppet you'll know just how powerful the approach is allowing you to drive every part of the face individually and in combinations right up to full face expressions of course you can create animations from scratch but you can also modify existing clips very precisely if you wish so next I've selected the head rotation control again in blend mode so that it simply adds to the existing animation and whilst I'm using a mouse here you'll find using a stylus will be smoother and you can also use mouse smoothing software if you wish but whether you're working on head rotations individual features or full face animation 
don't forget if the results of a particular face puppet or facial motion capture pass aren't quite as smooth as you'd like you can always access the latest smoothing controls from the expression clip right click menu the smooth function averages data whereas downsample simplifies it but maintains accuracy on those keyframes which remain after the downsampled keyframes have been removed. So we've looked at using face key as well as face puppet with replica voices and the new clip based facial animation approach. Now let's reload the character's timeline with clips and try some motion capture. Now mocap works in very much the same way as face puppet. You can of course record whole new clips which overwrite the existing expression timeline but you can also blend which means add animation on top of the existing clips, as well as replace animation on selected parts. So here in Motion Live with Blend Mode selected and all facial parts active, I'm recording a pass keeping my lips closed throughout so that I don't interfere with the existing lip sync animation. I can still smile and frown, as well as move my mouth from side to side, but obviously if I open my mouth, then that could make the lip sync appear inaccurate. And whilst I'm making some very large expressions here so that you can see clearly what I'm doing for the purpose of this tutorial, obviously if I was animating for production I'd be aiming for much more subtlety, as well as aiming to make both the character's facial expressions and words more synchronized and believable. So that was a full face pass of mocap in blend mode. Of course, just like Face Puppet, you can also do mocap passes on individual features. So to finish off this short mocap demonstration, I've reverted the timeline to the previous clips, and now I'm doing a pass in replace mode, where I'm simply replacing the eyebrow animation for one short section. And next, I replace the head rotation animation for the rest of the sequence. This should give you an idea of how easy it is to modify the new expression loops at any point. Whether using face key on individual keyframes or face puppet and mocap on longer sequences, you can adjust, modify, as well as wholly replace all aspects of facial expression animation. So finally, here's a short animation using the same replica speech, this time split between two characters and using the same animation approaches demonstrated in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Replica uses artificial intelligence to produce all kinds of realistic human and character voices from text. And with the Replica Link plugin, you can send these voices directly to the clone avatars for automatic lip syncing using Aculips. And not only speech, you can also choose to automatically load facial animation with different emotions and at different strengths, which can save lots of time in production.